Hi, Zach. Hey, Punkage. Do you know what we're going to be learning about today? Um, how a bottle opener works? What gave it away? That sounds pretty easy. I mean, I can tell that it's like a lever, uh, like scissors or a seesaw. That's uh, very close, Zach. I'll first define the learning goals before we really get into it. So the learning goals are that you learn how to identify parts of a liver, differentiate between three classes of livers, apply laws of physics to calculate the force required to open a bottle. Now, Zach, can you tell me what are the parts of a liver? Well, it has something in the middle, then a force on one side, which you use to lift something on the other side. All right, that's pretty close. Let's formally define each component. There's a force that you apply, there's a load, and then there's a fulcrum about which each of the force acts. Let's do a problem now that you know the three main parts of a liver. Do you think you can label a can opener with these three parts? Hmm. Well, the, the force is definitely your hand. That's C. Uh, I think the fulcrum is A because that's the part that stays without moving. Then the load is B. Yes. That is definitely correct. Notice that the fulcrum is towards one side, followed by load and then force. You would notice that this is very different from what you were talking about earlier, where the fulcrum is in the middle. So, uh, does this mean uh, it is a different type of lever than the one with the fulcrum? Well, yes. In fact, depending on the relative positions of the three elements and the directions, you can say that there are three classes of levers. All you really need to pay attention to is the relative positions. Now, based on this, do you think you can classify a scissors and our can opener into one of these classes? Uh, I think the scissors are class one because the fulcrum is in the center and an opener would be class two uh, is on the side. That's actually correct. Good job, Zach. All right, now we're moving on to the best part. The physics of livers. Mm. <laughs> so Despite the fact that the classes of livers are different, the underlying principle is still pretty much the same. It's the laws of physics governing all of it. The total energy of the isolated system remains conserved, the momentum of the isolated system remains conserved, and the rate of change of momentum is caused by the net force on the system. Mm -hmm. These are in fact different ways of looking at Newton's second law in an isolated system. I keep saying the word system, so I'll define it. Here, the system is the rod, the force applied by hand, fulcrum, and the load, which is the bottle cap. For now, we're going to assume that there is no energy loss due to friction. All right? Now, do you think you can invent a solution that tells you how much force you need to apply to open a bottle. You can help yourself to the beer bottle and the can opener. All right, this is some good motivation. All right. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, uh, as I move up and down this bottle opener, I feel like the force that I need to open with is different. It's a lot harder to open here than over here. So I may think maybe that the force is inversely related to the distance from the fulcrum. Um, that's, that's pretty good, Zach. Do you think you can figure out the equation? Um, okay, so maybe it's the, uh, it's the F1. It would be like something like the F1 over F2 equals B over A. That, uh, that's, that's exactly right. Good job, Zach. But I really want to tell you about the principle involved here. And that's about torque balance. So 
the load times the distance at which it is from the fulcrum is equal to the force times the distance it is applied from the fulcrum. So yes, it does have an inverse relationship. So let's pause for a moment and see if you can do this particular problem. Take your time, read about it, think about what you taught yourself, and then... Okay, All right. so you it. are using a bottle opener to open a Coke. You apply a force at a distance of 10 centimeters from the fulcrum. The opener latches onto the neck at five centimeters from the fulcrum. The cap has a force equal to 10 newtons. So how much force would you have to apply to open it? Well, the cap is equal to 10 newtons. Uh, the opener latches at five centimeters and you apply a force at 10 centimeters. Um, because you're using it from a farther distance, then you would need less than 10 newtons to open it. That's exactly right, Zach. Good job. In fact, if you wanted to work it out, you can just apply the torque balance equation, force times 10, equals 10 newtons times the five centimeters, which gets you five newtons and an inverse relationship. Great. Thank you, Zach. Thanks, Punkers. Can I try to open up the beer bottle? Oh yeah, sure, go for All it. Right. Whoa, hang on a second. So you said that momentum was conserved. When I opened the bottle just now, the, the cap flew all the way there. So how is it balanced? Well, Zach, if you notice, the mass of the cap is very small compared to the mass of your hand, which means that your hand has to move very little and the cap has to move a lot of distance, which means the cap is going to go fly, but the momentum is still conserved. Does that make sense? That makes sense. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Punkage. Until Cheers. next time.